Hi guys, it is Miss Louisa and I'm going to read another story to you guys. So the story I'm going to read this time is called Elmer the Dog. Elmer the Dog. Once there was a dog named Elmer. Elmer was a normal little puppy who liked little puppy things like chew toys, balls, swimming, and large T-bone steaks drowned in teriyaki sauce. His mom, Glory Bell, was a prize-winning Labrador retriever. There's nothing like a good stick, she'd always say. Elmer's dad was a blue-blooded, purebred, German short-haired pointer. His name was Axel, and he liked to tell Elmer, there's no better way to spend a day than sniffing. Naturally, Glory Bell and Axel wanted Elmer to grow up to be a good dog. So they sent him to school, Donnie Loretta's Super Dog Obedience School. That's where the best and brightest dogs go, said Glory Bell. Then that's where our Elmer will go, said Axel. And so, Donnie Loretta's Super Dog Obedience School, Elmer went to. There were all kinds of puppies there. Labrador Retrievers, like his mom. German Short-Haired Pointers, like his dad. Plus, all kinds of other dogs, like Collies, Poodles, St. Bernards, Boxers, and Beagles. But the thing about all of them was that, unlike Elmer... They were purebreds, which means poodles had poodles for parents, collies had collies for parents, and so on. We are purebreds, the dogs would say. Here are our papers. Can't you see? Our stock is as pure as pure as can be. Where are your papers? A poodle with a pink ribbon in her hair asked Elmer. Papers? What do you mean papers? said Elmer. Why do I need paper? Are we taking notes already? The poodle smirked and her pooch friends giggled. Why no you silly dog. We mean your breeding papers. To say you are a purebred. Say what are you? Elmer answered. My mom is a Labrador retriever and my dad is a German short-haired pointer. The dogs gasped. <gasps> One of them, possibly the Great Dane, cried out, why, he's nothing more than a mutt. The purebreds were horrified. A mutt in their midst? How could it be? They didn't want anything to do with Elmer. And poor Elmer, he was so upset he messed up all his assignments. He even sat when he was supposed to roll over. How embarrassing. When Elmer got home from obedience school, he howled, Ooh, then he said, I don't like school. I don't want to go back ever. Glory Bell was so shocked. She dropped her stick. Why, what happened, Elmer? The other dogs, they're all purebreds, <laughs> sniffled a sad Elmer. I'm nothing but a mutt. Just a mutt? Goodness gracious, said Axel. Glory Bell took Elmer in her paws and said, Oh, silly Elmer, being a mixed breed isn't a bad thing. It's a gift. A gift, said Elmer. Of course, answered Axel. Having two different kinds of parents means you are blessed with two different sets of abilities. It's the best of two worlds. You have all the talents of a Labrador, said Elmer's mom. 
plus all the skills of a pointer, said Elmer's dad. Elmer hugged his mom and dad. They licked Elmer all over his face until he felt better. The next day at school, the dogs were not any nicer, but Elmer remembered his parents' word. When it came time to retrieve sticks, he told himself, I'm half Labrador Retriever and labs are great at fetching sticks. I bet I can do it too. And he could, he finished in the top group. Hmm, beginner's luck, complained a beagle, but it wasn't because with all the talents of a German short-haired pointer and all the abilities of a Labrador retriever, there were few things Elmer was not good at. Slowly but surely, as the terriers sank in the swimming pool, the boxers sniffed in all the wrong places and the St. Bernards passed out on the track. Elmer did better and better. When the end of the day rolled around. Only Elmer had finished in the top of every group. He even got an official Donny Loretto Medal of Excellence. As for the other dogs, they changed their tune about their mixed breed classmate. You're such a talent, said Poodle. An absolute marvel, added the Cocker Spaniel. Will you sign my collar? begged the St. Bernard. When Elmer got home, he burst in the door and exclaimed with glee, Mom, Dad, school is doggone great. I made the top group every time, and I even got a medal. That's my boy, barked Elmer's dad. Glory Bell hugged Elmer and asked him, so you're not sad to be a mutt anymore? Oh, of course not, said Elmer. That night, Elmer and his parents had a party to celebrate his big day. It was woof, woof, wonderful. The end. I hope you guys like the story and I will... Hopefully see you guys soon. I miss you guys. Bye.